Welcome back to another YouTube video. Whoa, two videos in two days? What is this madness? Anyway, today I'm going to go ahead and go through something that I get a lot, a lot of questions about on stream. And that has to do with the shrines that I get when I run. Um, if you didn't watch the cooldown reduction video, uh, I talked about uh, empowered shrines. And what an empowered shrine does is it uh, essentially doubles your resource regeneration. So as a wizard, um, you normally have 10 arcane power regen per second. With an empowered shrine, I believe it goes up to 20. And also, it halves your cooldown reduction as well. So if you have 70% cooldown reduction, if you get an empowered shrine, you essentially take the difference between 100% and 70%, which is 30%, and then you have it, and then your cooldown reduction becomes 85%. So it halves your cooldown reduction because of diminishing your turns. It's not like you can add 50% to 70% to get 120% cooldown reduction. That's not how it works. So it would bring you up to 85%, which is still really, really good. It's the only way you can really get a, a permanent Archon these days. You need to have an Empowered Shrine. But before I, uh, I go ahead and I start, um, you do need a few things to do this. Uh, number one, you need something called the Gloves of Worship. If you don't know where to get these, you get them from uh, Bounty Bags in Act 2. So when you run Bounties, all five Bounties in Act 2, you get a Herodric Cash. Um, I can show you one of these bags right here. You want to be doing Act 2, though. Uh, you can also get them from Act 4, but it's much higher chance to get them from Act 2. And when you open up one of those bags, it has a very rare chance of getting these Gloves of Worship. And they have an effect called Shrine Effects Last for 10 Minutes. It's pretty important because if you don't have that shrine effect last for 10 minutes, your shrines only last for 2 minutes, and it's just not worth the time to actually get shrines. Um, also, this is kind of a, um, you know, this is a hit and miss tactic. You know, some people say, hey, it's not really worth getting shrines because, you know, it takes 5 minutes to get shrines and they only last 10 minutes, so you're wasting 5 minutes out of every 15 minutes, but... You know, if you farm pretty quickly, if you can if you can get this tactic nailed, you should be getting an Empowered Shrine in a matter of 2-3 to three minutes at the very most. And also, if you have something called the Nemesis Bracers, um, I think I have them right here. I do. If you have the Nemesis Bracers, you can actually turn this into a little loot run. And uh, every time you loot a Shrine, or every time you loot the um, Well of Blessings, which we'll show you in a second, you'll also get a Champion Pack to spawn. And, uh, you know, that gives you loot, and it only takes a few seconds to actually get a Well of Blessings or a Shrine. So you can also turn it into a loot run and actually manage to get some legendaries from this. So there you go. Um, there are several places to farm Shrines. Uh, because you don't really need Fleeting Shrines anymore, and they only last for 10 minutes, it's really only worth getting an Empowered Shrine. I like to just go and check one little place before I, um, before I start Rift Runs, usually. And where I go is I go to Act 4, I go to a place called Gardens of Hope First Tier. Right over here. And the best thing about this zone is that there's a guaranteed well of blessings that spawns right here. There it is. It's always there. So every time you start a new game, there's going to be a well of blessings. And uh, this is a guaranteed shrine. It's random, of course. So you don't know what it is until you click it. But there we go. We got the magic find one, which really isn't that great. But if you don't get the shrine that you're looking for, you know, it only takes a second or so to make a new game and try it again. Uh, this game, this little map has, uh, usually it has two to three shrines. Sometimes it only has one. Um, but what you're looking for is that one is guaranteed there, and then there's two more that are not guaranteed. Um, one of them is from a bounty called Cl uh, Cl Cleanse the Cursed Shrine. There it is right there. Um, and uh, the other one spawns where I'm actually heading right now in this area. So it looks like this game, we managed to get three out of three shrines. Nice. We have one right here, Frenzied Shrine. And here's the last one. So it's a Cursed Shrine. It's right next to that. And again, uh, this loot run, I think it averages, I would say, two, two and a half shrines. So sometimes you only get one. A, go a good amount of the time you get two, and then occasionally you also get three. So it seems like you usually get two, two-ish. Very rarely will you only get one shrine. Um, and then you have this uh, this little Cursed Chest, or Cursed Shrine, sorry. And what I like to do is I like to wait until the timer runs out. Um, I messed up because I wasn't paying attention, but I like to wait until the timer runs out and then kill stuff so it doesn't take very long to get the shrine. And well, again, you're looking for an empowered shrine, and we didn't get one, unfortunately. So if you don't get one, uh, there are other places you can go to find shrines. I'm not going to go over it in this video. There's one in Hellrift Level 1. That's a place to find a shrine right at the beginning. Uh, in Act 2, you can go to Rodal Carnus. You can also go to the Howling Plateau. There's one at the beginning. Uh, at Act 3, there's a lot of spots. You can go to the Bridge of Chorus. There's one right at the start. Battlefields, there's a shrine right at the beginning. Uh, Raki's Crossing, there's one right at the start. The Towers are always nice to check. Tower of the Damned and Tower of the Cursed. Core of Ariat, sometimes there's one at the start. 
And then in Act 1, the, the best spot is Southern Highlands, right over here. Cemetery of the Forsaken, Festering Woods is okay. And those are all the, uh, those are all the really, really good places to, um, to end up getting a, uh, to end up getting a shrine. So, um, there you go. That's that. It's pretty simple. Again, it's not really that complicated. You want to have the Gloves of Worship. Um, it's all debatable. You can argue, well, it's not worth getting the shrines. It's just a waste of time. You know, that's fine. You can have your own mentality about how the game works and whether it's worth getting the shrines. But, um, you know, if you have the Gloves of Worship, the shrine does indeed make the build a lot more powerful. So, um, you know, it might be worth taking a, a minute or two to get a shrine, especially if you're doing something like Torment 6. You, know, you can notice a significant dif difference in your abilities, the damage you do, how quickly you're able to run, and all that stuff. So, um, there you go. A lot of people asked for it, so there it is. And, um, you know, maybe I'll do a more complicated shrine video later, but I don't like to go to any of the other areas anymore. If you don't get the shrines that you're looking for in the uh, in the zone that I was just at, Gardens of Hope Tier 1, then I usually just start a new game because you have that guaranteed well of blessings at the start. It's always there. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. So please subscribe to the channel. Um, also, don't forget to check out uh, any other videos that I have, my previous video about um, cooldown reduction on a wizard, which I made a mistake on, and I corrected it in an annotation. I totally forgot to talk about the Born set and the Captain Crimson set, which is another 10% cooldown reduction for both of those sets. So there's the annotation, but I totally forgot to talk about it in the video. So there you go, gig fucking up. And I really should just stop talking. I really, I was doing so well this video. I was doing so fucking, oh shit. Oh my god, what a disaster. Please subscribe, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all later. I'm just done with this shit. I'm done with this stuff now. I'm done.